Hello, lovely viewers. It's another exciting episode of Sports Extra here on Made in Africa TV. My name is Onisifiro Sobobi, and in today's stories, we are going to be giving you special update on what's going on in the camp of Rafinha and also in the camp of Frankie De Jong and uh, Chelsea's Hakim Ziyech. Remember, if today is the first time you're watching us, just subscribe to the channel that's made in africa tv hit the notification button so that anytime you come your way with new video you'll be the first to get access to it and now um as we earlier indicated in our previous video we said that anytime we bring up a video the first person to comment gets a shout out from us so raza from usa um big ups to you and uh, you are the first person to comment on uh, show. Let's zoom in into the story. So let me give you an update on what's going on between Rafinha and Chelsea. We all know that Chelsea has submitted a 60 million pound bid to Leeds United. Of course, Barcelona has also done the same, submitting um, 50 million and then plus add-ons they want to do so. But the truth of the matter is that Leeds United have maintained their stand. They are saying they cannot do business with any other club apart from Chelsea when it comes to the sale of Rafinha. And the difference is that Chelsea is paying upfront plus the add-ons, but Barcelona are unable to pay all the money upfront and they want to pay it in bits. And this is what Leeds United do not want. However, on the part of Rafinha, Rafinha is not so comfortable with the Chelsea move. You know, he's had uh, some sort of engagement with Barcelona since March, and uh, he is keen on joining Xavi's men and to becoming a key member of Xavi's project. And, 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 and that is how it stands. What's his stance? He is still waiting for Barcelona to make their bid. Barcelona is also doing their best to ensure that they bring the best bid for them in order to get Rafinha. But Rafinha is not so keen on joining Chelsea. Now, talking about Chelsea, AC Milan have showed interest in Chelsea winger Hakim Ziyech. We all know Hakim Ziyech was signed under Frank Lampard, but under Thomas Tuchel, he's not seen so much of a good playing time. So, um, he's going to be sent on loan to AC Milan and the details are going to be worked. Already conversations are ongoing and it looks good. Now, moving away from Hakim Ziyech, still with Chelsea, uh, Raheem Sterling and Nathan Aki, uh, well, information reaching us is that um, the discussions are far ongoing and um, I mean, both sides are happy, but uh, in a few days to come, Manchester City and Chelsea will come up with something substantial so that they can announce either Raheem Sterling or Nathan Ake or even a combination of the two as their players. Now, let us move away from Chelsea and the Frankie de Jong Barcelona Manchester United situation. As a stance, as a stance, Man United and Barca agreed on a 65 million euro fixed fee, but they are still discussing a 20 million pound add on structure. Personal terms have not been discussed yet. But Frankie's priority has always been Barcelona and uh, well, a salary reduction is unlikely for Frankie Dion and he's not ready to cut down on his salary but he still wants to play for Barcelona. That's a difficult one for him. Now moving away from Frankie De Jong, Arsenal is, is, is also being rumoured to go for Serge Gnabry of Bayern Munich. But the truth of the matter is that um, officially Bayern Munich has indicated that Serge Gnabry uh, is they are working on extending his contract and they've not received any formal bid or whatsoever from but uh, from us now so um, all those rumors can be laid to bear now i've mentioned um there are rumors that uh, there's been an issue with their deal against us now but we can reliably inform you that the deal is currently ongoing and very soon us now will announce gabriel jesus as their player and show him to the crowd. Now, Manchester United uh, have uh, have contract already signed with uh, Feyenoord for Tarell Malaysia deal, but uh, they are waiting for the player to fly to England. So they are expecting Tyrell to come to England in the next few hours of, of Sunday. If it's not so, then well, things are gonna change. So in our final story, well, Juventus will officially complete both Paul Pogba 
and Angel Di Maria deals next week. So the two top signings are set to join as free agents and they are wanted by Juventus coach Masmiliano Allegri. It's all done for Paul Pogba. It's just a matter of details for Di Maria to also uh, get his contract and then sign. This is where we'll end our edition of Sunday special uh, here on Made in Africa TV. If it's the first time you're watching us, hit the notification button, subscribe so that anytime we come your way, you'll be our guest. Till we meet again, we say adios.